Time to play with some clay. I'm liking this horse's positioning right now. And uh, so I'm thinking of trying that out, uh, but I've got to make sure that I can make it work out. And I'm gonna have to put this horse back on this to see what I need to do. Now that leg there needs to be down which means I need a piece of wood to, to put on it. Okay. I think I got that worked out. This leg needs to go down. This uh, copper wire is really hard to bend. It's very strong. Um, so I gotta figure something out here. I usually use copper tubing, but I have had this on hand, and so that's why I'm using this very tough wire. I moved the uh, entire figure of the horse back a little because this was stretched out too far. And uh, got to reposition this leg here. Whew. All of this just takes a little time. You know, this is almost strong enough. I don't need this center sport. But I'm going to keep it there just in case. Okay. Oh, that's tiring. <laughs> it's it's not a physical tiring. It's a mental tiring. That's why I breathe so loud right because I'm expending a lot of energy concentrating here. Okay, I'm going to start adding clay to this. In case you don't know it, I have a 
a two DVD set on how to create armatures and uh, might be worthwhile looking at if you don't know how to make your own armature. The link to a view of that video and several, the other eight videos that I have are uh, in the uh, video description. The link that I have there for it. My mouth ain't working right. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to keep uh, working on this and uh, be right back. Now the armature is poking through this support. That's okay, it's gonna be underneath the shoulder blade so it won't be running interference with anything. I put a fondue stick in here. Um, it's one head length wide, that's how Actually, I've made it less than a head length, but uh, it's uh, what the uh, width of the hips are. It's one head length. If you go on Google and you do a search for horse anatomy, type in horse anatomy, and then the end the uh, final set of words as for artists. So in other words, uh, horse anatomy for artists. If you don't do that, you'll get a ton of crap. And uh, if you do it for artists, you'll get a ton of crap, but it'll start out with the stuff that you need. <laughs> and then it's just up to you to interpret the uh, drawings. Sometimes if you double click on a picture, it'll take you to a website that uh, has an explanation of what uh, you're looking at. Now I centered the breastbone, as I've said before, because the muscles that connect the shoulder to the chest have to have the same distance between both shoulders. So I send it that ahead of time. Okay, I'm going to make the shoulder blades and continue on. I'm leaving a lot of space in here because I'm going to be adding clay anyway. And uh, I just got this for strength. And that's the only reason I got it. Now these bones are a little thick, but I can trim them down when they harden up a little bit. It'll be a lot easier to do that when the clay is not so soft. Yeah, these bones are a little thick, but I'll trim them down 
and shape them a little bit better when the uh, clay stiffens a little bit. I'll do that tomorrow. Okay, what I'm doing is making a cradle for this base so that uh, when I go putting it back on after I've worked on the horse, it'll fit into place really uh, nicely. I tell you, though, I, I kind of like this monster clay for this purpose. It's an expensive clay. It's too expensive to do the whole sculpture in. All right, everybody. Have a great night, and uh, I'll see you uh, next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.